Hey, Battle Bill here with another video, getting some more Season 12 Go Battle League Battles. And in today's video, we have some last minute Legend Push content in, not Legend Push content, Legend content in the Great League meta with a submission from a fellow PvP of the community by the name of Dr. Marsh. If you want to hit Legend in style, especially as Great League is starting to wrap up, and this is literally the last day and a half ish, because by the time you get this video, November 4th. 4th no november 3rd at niantic o'clock we will be switching over to ultra league and willpower cup i'm pretty sure and great league will not return for the remainder of the season there's still about four weeks left in the season so it's super unfortunate but if you want a solid team we got a double normal dark strat with a rolling radicate and obsagoon a rat about to pop off Dr. Marsh has been having a ton of success with this team in some open Great League battles, and you have just enough time by the time you see this video. Return landed, I'm sorry, got sidetracked. One shot the Shadow Venu, actually insane. Easy dub for first match before I even finish the intro. Holy Christ, I can't wait to continue to get into these battles. But as I was saying, you still got some sets left. And if you want to hit Legend in style with Open Great League still around, I'm highly recommending this team. Can't wait to check out these battles. Thank you for the submission. Let's get into the commentating. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe as always. And is that a gigalith on my screen? Forcing the top left, I barely finished the intro. He's got two easy dubs off the top of the mark. Holy Christ. And as you'll notice, these battles are at the 3000 elo and above. Getting to this next match, we have Golbat on Alteria Lead. He safe swaps into the Alolan Raticate. Gets met with the Shadow Needle Queen, which is great because Obstagoon's not going to have an amazing matchup against the Shadow Needle Queen. So is this going to be the Poison Fang? Is this going to be the Earth Power? Ends up being a Poison Fang. We're still in the two shield to two shield scenario here he lets another charge move come through ends up being another poison fang his alone eradicate goes down he's gonna come back here with a gold back and comfortably farm this shadow needle queen all the way down could technically be a little bit worried about a stone edge but i highly doubt that's gonna be the play on the opponent's uh, shadow needle queen uh move set they then come back in with the altaria he's going for the shadow ball huge damage there swaps into the obstagoon the altaria stays in wants to be careful of a moon blast moon blast would do a huge chunk of obstagoon's remaining health because the dark typing and it being super effective but the opponent's altaria is staying in this match he's going to be throwing as many night slashes as he possibly can hoping for a boost will he get it what is the opponent's last month they're staying in this altaria matchup going for another night slash gets the opponent's first shield there gonna want to commit to the obstacle just based on the pure fact that they're staying in with the altaria altaria super low most likely going to commit to a counter down because of it the opponent's last mon is a trevenant that explains the lack of swapping out he gets off the night slash gets the opponent's last shield swaps makes an insane play what a catch on the seed bomb for some double resisted damage to the goal bat going to build all the way up to the shadow ball knowing the opponent is going to have to throw their move here they get off another seed bomb they did get quite a bit of farm but he's going to be able to get off the night slash because they were forced to throw in that scenario it was good they did not throw the poison fang gets it off takes out the trevenant's remaining health the altaria does not want to get countered down what a goddamn match to win, especially overcoming the poor alignment and lead scenarios. Gains his next matchup it has a good lead this time. They save swap into they, their purified Sableye. And also to boot, this is a purified alone eradicate. Like we mentioned earlier, he throw in the return instead of the hyper beam. Return, better move, cheaper, cheaper nuke move. As you can see, Sableye also throwing it, but could pay dividends on the wall eradicate. Maybe not as well known, since Sableye is like always the biggest mon that you're like, you want this purify for PvP, you want this purify for PvP. But what about Alolan Raticate? They then come in with their charm, Alolan Ninetales. He's going to get off another return here. Does a huge amount of damage to the Alolan Ninetales. Can he get to the crunch in time? Is not able to, but all that damage practically nuked the Alolan Ninetales remaining health. They're going to charge move here. Should be a weather ball, going to be super effective. He almost let his Golbat completely go down, and it's a good thing 
the weather ball didn't do more damage because their last mon is a scrafty they no shield the first poison fang which is huge here because his wing attacks are going to add up he's going to essentially want to oh he gets baited that's super unfortunate he's going to want to throw as many poison fangs as possible even though they have shields just because it will debuff the scrafty's remaining health and will allow the obstagoon to have a fair shot at countering the scrafty down especially with how much fast move damage already added up from the wing attacks obstagoon is clearly a Scrafty counter confirmed and an Alolan, a Charm Alolan Ninetales counter? What is currently happening on my screen? Holy Christ. Getting into the next match, we have a terrible lead with Golbat on the Alolan Raticate. He safe swaps, in, I mean, on his Golbat on the Bastiodon. He swaps in his Alolan Raticate and gets met by an even harder answer in the form of Shadow Gramble with Charm not sitting in a positive situation here. Will he be able to play his way out of this one? Gonna want to come into the Golbat. It's good that he was at least able to lure the shadow gramble out so the charmer stays away from his obstacle they're throwing a charge move here ends up being a crunch gets no debuff which is huge going to commit to a wing attack farm down will the shadow balls from his also purified gold bed just notice that double purified content you're not we're not running return on this so it's nowhere near as a big deal gets a debuff swaps in the goon and gets met by another hard counter super unfortunate match he top lefts we move on to the next one any team can be rps in open great league so it is what it is but he's still been putting in a lot of work so far getting to this next matchup as a positive lead the opponent comes in with their toxapex relatively new to the great league meta he matches with his alolan radicate throws a crunch gets a debuff that's huge does have to worry a little bit about a sludge wave so he decides to commit his shield there huge call doesn't get baited by a potential brine over farming a bunch with the crunch debuff he's going to throw another crunch here how much more damage will this one do does a great chunk does not take out and unfortunately is not able to farm down yet they're gonna get off another sludge wave Alolan Raticate is thick though. He's got the puffy cheeks. Eats a sludge wave, no problem. They come in with the meta champ and he's getting off the return. Does it land? Boom! Does a solid 60% of the meta champ's health. He comes in to match with his gold bat. Looks like he's going for almost a complete farm down. Recognizes that they built up to exactly eight counters for a psychic. Throws the poison fang. Will this get the shield? Does the opponent want to get off the psychic? They do. He's going to match their shield because they're trying their best to get rid of his gold bat, which means their last mod is probably going to struggle against the gold bat also. And it ends up being an Alolan Ninetales. Now, here's the problem though. He's at the shield disadvantage. It is charm Alolan Ninetales. So but he really needs to make sure that he's able to get all both these poison fangs first one did a good chunk of the alone nine tails remaining health next one will get the shield and it looks like Obstagoon is going to be an Alolan Ninetales counter confirmed because the Weather Ball goes off onto the Golbat, takes it out, comes in with the Obstagoon, counters it down. Obstagoon takes out another Metacham. What are these battles, man? I can't believe what I'm seeing with my own eyes. The Pokemon that is double weak to fighting and takes a single super effective damage from Fairy is out here beating them all because Golbat and Alolan Radicate are the core. It's not even like Obstagoon's carrying. It's ridiculous. Into his next matchup, we have another positive lead. They say swap Kaufa. He's able to match with one of the hardest counters, whether it have been the Goon or the Alolan Radicate. Both of them are going to slaughter this Kaufa Gregis or however you pronounce that Pokemon's name in this matchup throws a first crunch does a solid chunk i'm gonna let another charge move come through should be another dark pulse because it's the best move that coffee egregious could throw in this scenario he is going to get hella greedy though because he's triple resisting all these shadow claws throws at a relatively good time and lands a crunch undercharges it to try to get some form of quick attack farm down but is unable to because it's just too strong, too super effective. The opponent comes back in with their obstacle and he gets this shield, which is huge. Gonna probably let this first charge move come through. Should just be a Night Slash here. Is just a Night Slash. Going to throw Poison Fangs with his Gold Bat and spam them onto the Obstagoon. Obviously don't want to throw Shadow Balls in this scenario because that would also be triple resisted. And at this point, could probably let another Night Slash come through. Comfortably lets it come through. Going to get to another Poison Fang. The, with this take out the remaining health, is the Obstagoon going to shield? These are the questions. It just barely doesn't. And then he snipes. Big counter snipe with his Obstagoon. The opponent's last mon is just sitting there. Did they top left? Are they coming in? Ends up being a Toxapex. But at the two shield to one shield scenario that he's in, this should still be a positive matchup for his goon, especially if he can get a boost off because he's going to be throwing a bunch of night slashes in this scenario. 
The Toxapex is going to want to go straight Brian on top of the Poison Jab, so they're going for a move here. The Goon boosts that clutch. That all but solidifies the dub if it wasn't already solidified by now. Just based on the pure fact the Gold Bat's also super healthy in the back and could get off some damage onto the Toxapex if needed. The opponent ends up using their last shield here, going for another charge move. Ends up being another Brine, going to commit to the Goon, going to get another Night Slash off. The opponent top lefts recognizes their scenario and knows that this game is over. Another Toxapex in Open Great League. I, I haven't played a bunch of Open Great League much recently, but I know Toxapex is a killer mon, so it makes sense that's all over these high elo legend battles. He's got the Gold Bat on the Toxapex matchup here, going straight for the Shadow Ball. Doesn't want to throw the resisted Poison Fang to potentially get a debuff. The opponent then same swaps into Sableye after leaving with a bunch of energy. He matches with the Alolan Raticate, going to go straight crunch in this scenario. Is he going to get a debuff? Does not. Sableye is going to want to get off their return. Lolan Raticate is obviously not going to want to get off their own return against the Sableye because of the ghost typing. Ends up getting baited, which is super unfortunate. Going to go for another crunch. Will this get the opponent's shield? It does get the opponent's first shield. So. Will he let this come through? This could be another return. Most likely is. It's another foul play bait. The opponent's like, the only way I can flip switch here is if I if I bait the heck out of this little eradicate, but I'm surprised because I don't really see the Toxapex matchup against Golbat being something you want to play yourself out of. Regardless, does he commit the shields here? Ends up being the return, does not commit the shield, but has shield advantage and could comfortably come in with either his mods and get a bunch of farm on this Sableye. Most likely going to build up a bit of energy and then throw the move like he just did, just because he doesn't want the Sableye to throw another return. Can he boost on his Obscune? Does not, but still has a one shield to no shield advantage. What is the opponent's final mon? We don't know yet. They come with the Toxapex. He swaps and catches the Brine. Does a little bit of a chunk of damage to the Golbat, not much. They then come in with their Umbreon. They really don't want to play that Toxapex matchup out against the Golbat, surprisingly, because like, the Brian would still be neutral. Like, I, I don't know. All right, regardless, I, correct me if I'm wrong. I feel like because Toxapex is just so bulky, it would just out bulk and out stat proc the Golbat, even though I guess it's dealing more resisted damage with both Poison Jab and Sludge Wave and Brian not being great. But regardless, I digress. At least. In that scenario, knowing that the Obstagoon is his last Mon, they put, they're able to put the Umbreon on the Gold Bat, but it's not going to make much of a difference because he lets his Gold Bat go down, comes in with the Goon, gets the insane farm down, and is now going to spam Night Slashes against the Toxapex. Even if they get to a move, he still has a shield. They're not going to get to that move, and he's going to take it out. Oh, wait, not take it out yet. Third time's a charm. There's the next Night Slash. This will take out the Toxapex's remaining health for another GG, and then the BM boost as if that was even necessary. Getting to the next matchup, we have an amazing leader with Golbat on a Venusaur. The opponent stays in for a second and then swaps into Azu. May have wanted to stay in with the Golbat for a second there to get off some super effective uh, Poison Fang damage, but at least Alolan Raticate in this scenario has return to potentially land and the opponent shields they respect the return nuke you love to see it the azumarill throws a play rough does a huge chunk of the alone eradicate itself he's going for another return here will this one land will we find out how much damage it does it does land it doesn't do enough damage do you potentially try to shield here he does to try to get the quick attacks off and potentially land a crunch will the alone eradicate be able to play out of this situation it does not look like it because they're going to get bubbled down but at least they get the crunch off, gets the opponent's slash shield. So that's a positive, even though he's not able to keep alignment, which is not super ideal because now the Venusaur lines up the Obstagoon, but he does have a shield advantage. He comes in with his gold bat, letting the charge move come through. Most likely an Ice Beam, not an Ice Beam, not running Ice Beam. That's huge. Gold bat able to farm down. He then swaps into his goon, not sitting in the best situation though, because now Skarmory's lined up with his gold bat. Obstagoon lined up with his Venusaur with the Venusaur does have shield advantage a boost would also be super clutch going to be spamming as many night slashes as possible has to worry about the Venu frenzy plant because it would essentially one shot this goon's remaining health what does he decide to do here the Venusaur farmed up a bunch he lets it come through the opponent makes a mistake 
throws the next Frenzy Plant because they're worried about the Goon getting to another Night Slash. They would not be able to in that situation. And because of that, the Venusaur has health for the Golbat to farm. So now he has a Shield Advantage and extra energy, throws a Shadow Ball, will then Wing Attacks, and the next Shadow Ball be enough to win this match for Marsh. He's over farming like crazy, throws on perfect timing, gonna get the Shadow Ball off. Will this be enough? Boom! Oh, and the music ended at the same time. That could not have been more perfect and more fitting. And that's the final match of the collection of battles. Big GG's. Dr. Marsh absolutely popping off with double dark normal, a lol, and a lol eradicate on the team in some open Great League battles at the Legend Elo. Thank you so much for the submission. Let me know your thoughts on the battles as always. And please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate you all so much for watching. Reesh!